Well, <laughs> let, let's talk a little bit about this because I, I, I do feel like it's a tricky time. We're getting into that, you know, very kind of dicey time when you know there's going to be a change at some point. We right. don't know exactly um, when that's coming, but we're looking for any signal from Powell. He did a good job of basically yeah. saying, not yet, yesterday. Yeah, look, there's a deep open scar still at the Fed, at the FOMC, the Federal Market Committee. And that's what happened in 2013. Uh, so you want to make sure it doesn't happen again. You want to be gradual, as you just explained. You're going to use the balance sheet to titrate back. I like the word titrate. <laughs> I want to show I had high school chemistry. It's the last time I used it. But slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, having said that, the markets are viewing things differently. The way the 10-year, which today is close to 138, uh, back to where it was pushing up before. So it's a question of speed and direction. If the markets detect that we're going to go above the 2% level on a sustained basis, that's the key operative word, uh, that, uh, that sort of changes the way one discounts the present value of future cash flows. And it takes off the so-called TINA trade. It dissolves it even further. And that's where you get competitive uh, returns compared to equities. So if you are at the Fed, you don't want to encourage that. And I always said when I was there, what I learned in my 10 years there, there's a little bit of what I call wizard of Osery. You got to what you say is very critical here. And we're at a tender juncture in terms of the recovery, economic recovery. The last thing Powell needs and the FOMC needs uh, is to trigger a reaction and have a significant correction in equities accordingly, as we did in, uh, in the bond markets, as we did in 2013. So uh, until people, the market pulls back the curtain so far. I think he's done and the committee's done a good job of not triggering a response that could add to further angst about economic recovery. Does that make sense? Yeah, Richard, let's let's. Yeah, it, it does. But it, I mean, you said it more clearly at the end than at the beginning where we were talking about not wanting <laughs> to accelerate the Tina takeoff trade where there is no alternative. What they want to do is avoid a market crash, because right now people look at the stock market and say, hey, you know, it's not a measure of the economy, but it shows us we're doing OK on some on some levels. How concerned is the Fed about the potential for a stock market crash and a bond market crash? Well, well, again, uh, even though uh, Chairman Powell, when he was not chairman and first joined the committee in two, June of 2012, warned the committee, warned the chairman then, that by continuing to push on this, we were setting a trap and we would be locked in and whatever we did to correct for that would trigger a stock market correction. So he's very wary of this. He's much more credit market educated. In fact, the best since Paul Volcker. So he understands markets. He's not an academic economist. And there is a sensitivity there. So they're just going to have to be very, very careful. Having said that, the markets for fixed income instruments, looking at the 10-year and so on, might precede them in triggering a reaction. And that's what they have to be very careful about not piling on. That's my point. Yeah, I, I get that. I think the the... The key, or I guess nirvana, would be if you could hand this off to an economy that is well recovered and able to pick up and run with it it's on its own two, two feet. That's like the ideal situation. But you have to start wondering how much of the idea that the economy is recovered is already baked into the stock market, too. I just Is there a way of doing that perfect handoff because investors and traders um, aren't willing to always be patient and sit and wait to be told that this is what's happening next. They're kind of figuring that out on their own. Yeah, they are figuring out their own. Uh, again, this is a tough thing to thread this uh, eye of this very narrow needle. Um, but that's what you're trying to do. You'll never get it perfectly right. But I think they're doing a good job so far of moving this along. And your point is spot on, Becky, which is it's much better to have a market reaction, however severe or however gentle, if you have a fully strong economy. The last thing you need here is to pile on to still significant doubts about recovery. You don't want to uh, hinder that process and add to further uncertainty. So I understand where they are. I think they're doing the right thing. I don't think this accommodation goes on forever. 
but you're not going to let the market know when you're going to begin to titrate until you feel that the economy is much more secure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.